Hey friends, welcome back to a new Python tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how you can execute an Excel macro with Python. So let's do that. Let's import the library we're going to use, which is Excel Wings. So I can simply type here in my Jupyter Notebook or whatever kind of code editor you use, import and then Excel Wings as XW. So XW is an abbreviation, but you can use whatever kind of abbreviation you want. You need just to make sure that you install Excel Wings because it's not available by default. You can, if you are in Jupyter Notebook, you can install it using exclamation mark and then simply write pip install and then XL Wings like that and run the cell. If not, then you would go, uh, depending on how you have Python installed, either to your specific scripts folder with Python installation, or you can run it globally. If you have Python installed as a global variable, then you can run pip directly, like pip install Excel Wings in your command prompt. So after doing this, let me just comment that out. You should be able to import it in your yeah, specific editor, so PyCharm or Visual Studio Code or Jupyter Notebook, whatever you use. Let's execute this. Okay, so no errors, so far so good. Next, we need an Excel file with a macro. So I have not prepared anything, so let's do that quite quickly and simple. I'm opening a folder here, and then let me just create a new macro. Go to Excel file here first and call this, um, God, just leave it default, let me open it. Okay, and there it is. And then let me press Alt F11 just to go to the specific um, Visual Basic here. Um, please be aware that this is in German, but it shouldn't matter because actually it looks kind of the same for um, any other kind of language. What the thing we need to do here is we go to in um, um, to add, yeah, and want to add a module here. Insert. It's probably in English, right? So go to module here, and then we have a module one. And then here we can write our sub. So let's call it, for instance, uh, my sub. And then two parentheses, press enter. Um, sub my sub, of course. Sorry for that. Let's do that again. Sub my sub, like that. And we got an end sub. Okay. And now let's actually do it quite simple. Let's call it simply a message box. Message box, so MSG box. And then, hello, I am a macro, like that, right? Then we can close this, and now if I would run this just to check, then I see a new pop-up window here, hello, I'm a macro. So that's all what this macro does. And of course, feel free then later to try out your own uh, much more advanced macro, but the, the idea itself is exactly the same. You simply need some kind of macro in your Excel file, and let me just close this, and now let me save it here. And now it's saved, just let me close it, and now we should see that there is a one new file. We only need this one. Okay. So we got our Excel file. Let me just rename this here properly. And let me just rename it here properly. Let's call this um, Python macro. Okay. Excel So then we're good to go. And now let me go to the Jupyter Notebook again. And now let's do the following. Let's first specify the file path. So file path is equal to, and now let me go to the folder itself, which is this one here, uh, like that. Let me put it in quotes, and of course, it's a raw string here. And then the name itself was uh, Python macro, right? So let's go back, Python macro xlsm. So it's Python macro dot xlsm. Okay, so we specified the file path, and now let's actually create our app and run the macro. So you see that uh, the Excel file is currently closed, and now we create the app. We can say Excel, or let's call it app, or Excel app, is equal to xw.app. Then we specify two additional parameters. The first one is visible, is equal to true, because I want to see the Excel file and the message box. And the second one is that we don't want to add an additional book, so we call add book is equal to false because I only want to open the Excel file, I don't want to modify it. And also another new one. So we got this, and now let's actually open it. Let's call workbook is equal to, and now let's say app.books.open. 
and then we use our file path. File path. So this will open our workbook. And next, we need to specify two things. At first, run macro is equal to, you can name this variable whatever you like, but I don't name it run macro, is equal to ww.app.macro. And then we need to specify the name. And in my case, remember, it was stored in module 1. So in German, the module is without E, so be aware of that. It's simply module 1. For you, it probably would be module with an E. And then the name of the sub. So depending on how you named it, I named mine my sub. So that is why I'm using my sub here. And the last thing is simply that we call the run macro. So let's say run macro and then two parentheses here. And that's it. So let's run that. Press Control Enter. And we see that the Excel file opens here. The macro is still running. And now if I open the file here, take a look, I'll see that here I have hello, I'm a macro. So the macro itself gets executed. Let me click OK. And let me close it. And you see that the code also is finished. So that's it. That's how easy it is to run macros from Python. So using Excel Wings, simply specify the app and then open the workbook and then run the specific sub. Just make sure that you point to the right sub depending on how many uh, specific macros you have in a specific Excel file. Okay? So hopefully that was interesting and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, then please leave a like, um, give the video a thumbs up and also please subscribe to the channel and see you next time.